Hello and welcome back to my channel. I received a very large order for a gift box, very pricey gift box. And um, I just wanted to make a quick video. Maybe some of you are interested to see how, like ideas, how you could do that. I have a very large box. Let me see. So large, you can't even, doesn't even fit on the camera. So now I would like to see, and I have some products here ready to go. How I can line it. I usually have a tissue paper that is a little bit finer than this one. But I just want to see if this is more has more volume, like to to build the cushion because it's gonna be a lot of products and I would like the products to stay in place. Just grab my regular paper and see how this will work out. It will be just enough to cover it. So I'm going to do one this way. I don't know if you can see it. I'm trying to pull you up a little bit. Or... I think you can see better like this, can't you? All right, so... I fold this, it's gonna be, let's see, So, so now it's, it has some volume here. Let's see. So I made some bath truffles, some donut bath truffles, and then some hand, some custom made soaps, cupcake, then body butter. Then her own with her own name, the soap with her stamp on it that uh, I had made in Germany from a stamp maker. That I will leave the link because this gentleman is this ex. Extremely competent. Like you send him something and you're in a time squeeze. I mean, he does it. So this is like a huge, large gift box. I show you close. Add some shred here around the products just to have them be a little bit more stable. So that 
the, the things don't move around too much with the transport, transportation. boxes and um, actually the reason why I started this uh, why this business started was because I always love to make handmade gifts for people I think it's always a good choice and it really shows appreciation for the person to make something yourself versus to buy something I mean, of course, it's always good to receive a gift and everything, but you know what I mean. I think the black is cool. It makes the colors really pop. better now. And it is surprising to me that people really appreciate handmade products so much here. Yeah. I wouldn't think, even though some people don't understand what it means when you are crafting these things and what it needs and the ingredients you need to buy, you know, it's like expensive, high quality ingredients. Some people they appreciate it, some other people instead they, they say, but why are your products so expensive? You know, sometimes you get this type of question. It just makes me wonder. I think this should hold pretty well. What do you think? the bath truffles, there is a glycerin, rose soap, there is a cupcake, body butter, a foot balm, this is a soap cake, this is a cold process soap with the stamp of her name in it and I just wanted to show you the stamp quickly and talk a little bit about this stamp maker. So you can see this is, the, this is a stamp, this is an acrylic stamp it's a fantastic quality and I will leave the link down in the description box. This gentleman from Germany is an excellent stamp maker. It's like you send him a font or a logo, whatever, and he works it out in acrylic. And he has done a fantastic job because this um, order here was on the last minute and he really made it like on an express basis and I would like to say thank you uh, Bernd, this was a fantastic job, thanks a lot. Then we have a, another glycerin heart, another cold process soap, a cupcake, a lip balm set of uh, all the fragrances I have. So I have lemon sorbet, coconut cocktail, 
pink lemonade and Irish whiskey cream. This is another rose glycerin soap. This is the Cleopatra donkey milk soap. We have a body scrub, black raspberry vanilla, and as I say, here another cake, a soap cake. So that's what is going in, in her gift. All right, so I would like to see now on how I can close it up in a way that it looks pretty and it doesn't move. So as you can see, this shred now, this is quite secure. So I'm just gonna fold the tissue paper over like so. And I want to see how I can add tissue paper on top. So that when you open the box, it looks pretty. And I think it's great when you have this handmade flair. It's just a touch of a bit of different thing than usual. So we are ready to go. We're going to add the lid. And this is a silver box sparkly silver box and it's so huge you cannot even see the entire box here so i'm gonna move you up just a little bit so i can actually see what i'm doing so that's the box and then when you open it it's gonna be like this and i hope that uh, this lady is gonna be happy about her gift so next is a gift box for another lady this is a different kind of box I got here. I thought it is really cute. It closes with a magnet, like so. So I'm gonna be adding tissue paper first. I think this always makes it a little bit more special. You know, whatever you do, it elevates the entire <coughs> picture. very good so it can be closed afterwards. I'm actually I need to turn it around this way. And I'm gonna be adding some shred. Actually, like black is on the box, like, it fits very well. Doesn't need to be much, but so that the products can stay inside. So for this order, she has got her own soaps as well with her stamp in it. Also, the stamp that uh, the same stamp maker made. Acrylic, again, very sturdy, very deep. You can see here, it's quite impressive. Her, his stamps are just fantastic, I have to say. So, I'm gonna pop in. Let's see here how we can sandwich these products in. gonna put it in the bottom like so we have three of those and these bath truffles so I guess I'm gonna go like this alright then the sugar scrub black raspberry vanilla Cupcake, soft cupcake. Uh, a rose. 
Mousse et Soap. set of four again, the four fragrances. So that's it for this gift box and then nothing is moving inside. It's nice and secure, and we can just close it like this and have a nice, very elegant gift box. So the next is a gift box for a gentleman, and I would like to try something real quick. I bought this design block with some patterns inside. It's good if you want to make gift box. I always keep this, this handy different styles of those that you can find in some staple uh, in some craft stores and things like that so you can always choose a paper and make like your own gift box using the we are memory keepers gift, gift box punch board that's how we call it yeah oh, as this is a gift box for a gentleman and this is how the gift box box looks like I would like to choose something that fits to the color theme. And so let's see what we have here. I think this is really cute. So you can you can see here that like you have a size chart where you can choose the dimensions of your gift box and you have centimeters and inches. So my paper is 30 and a half times 30 and a half, which is exactly what we have here. So I'm going to start here with the XL line and the L line over here. So you place your paper here, you punch, then you crease the line here and one over here and the L line here gonna see why in a moment then you turn it around you always you place it again on XL here punch go like this go like this and then the L again turn it around XL punch and do exact same thing on this side over here just like so. And then one more over here. So this says okay, XL. It says XL here, not L. And then these missing ones here, you just put a punch where these lines here connect. to see if everything is punched here is one missing huh? okay now you can crease these sides I'm gonna do the reverse punch here so we can put the 
box together, huh? So here is one line missing. Over here. Okay. Now we should be good. So let's fold it and see where we where we go. your gift box. This is the biggest size you can do with this type of punch board. It's 10 centimeters square, you can say. Voila. So I think it's really cute. Now I'm gonna see if the soap box is fit inside. So this is the cold process soap that was made with uh, the logo of his company. It fits perfectly. Let's see how many we can fit in here. We can fit three, which is good. So let's see if we can close this with this little hook that we have here. It's a bit too unstable, so I'm gonna fix it with, um, with a scotch, like so. So we have other two left over. So I'm gonna be making another gift box and this time I'm going to choose here from this chart here, the 10 by 10, but then by eight in height. So we don't need like the same height of gift box and I want to choose another pattern. Let's see what we have here. This is nice, with the silver patterns. So now, for this one, I need, of course, another dimension, and the paper size needs to be 27.9 times 27.9. So I have another tool here from We Are Memory Keepers, I will leave the link in the description. You just open it like so, and then you can fix it here. You have a knife here to crease as well, and then you have this uh, knife. It's a knife, basically. And then you have here the marks, like centimeters and inches. So you can just place it here, 27.9. And then you through and it cuts, cuts it at the exact length. And we're gonna do the same on this side as well. Okay, so that's it. We have the right size we need. I'm going to remove this one here. And then on the gift board, the gift box punch board, we're gonna see what we need to do here. It's same thing, XL, And I don't know, it's, this is a wrong here, XL and, XL and L, okay, right. XL and L, that's correct. I was mistaken before. It should be XL, XL before, now it's XL, and now this time it's L here. So we're, we're good with that one. And then we turn it again. And crease, crease on the L here. Turn it again. And this I love this because it's an easy way to do your own gift box and you don't have to buy these beforehand. You can just make them yourself for uh, smaller sizes, let's say. You cannot make a huge gift box with this, obviously. But for smaller gifts, I think it's just perfect. It's very handy. You take it out when you need it to do this kind of projects and I think it's awesome. Okay, so we are good for this. So we are going to put the two inverted. Punches here. 
And then um, just crease this like that. Okay, awesome. So I have the last two soaps here. I added my label and then this is also perfect size and we are going to fold it like this and then lock it with this hook here that we have. And then you have this gift box ready as well. So let's see how we can fix these here. <clears throat> with some scotch tape first. And then we add a nice ribbon. I always like to slide it under here so that the knot doesn't um, go out centered, you know what I mean? Second one here. This is the box for the gentleman. You can see it's quite a, a huge box. And it's round, which makes it special. It has a nice design. and then fill it with the things that we have. I'm going to move you. No, I think it's quite okay. I'm just gonna put you a little bit like this. Okay, good. So let's see how we can add this to the box. So we have the box. And this person is a car lover. So I made some, some soaps that look like a car. This is a giant one. And they are all scented differently, so you can use different types of soap. Hope you can see pretty well. Then, now let's do it this way. Let's add the gift boxes first, as they are a bit bigger. Okay, isn't that cute? That's really cute. Then we have the cars. We have a beard oil. We have a shaving soap. This is just like an aluminum tin, and then you have shaving soap in here. Very practical for traveling. The face and shave foam and the bourbon and tobacco man soap that is very popular. Let's add a hair and beard wax. It's a very nice styling product and a whiskey lip balm, because why not? 
open my card. And then I'm closing the box nicely like so. And here we have the manly gift box. 